welcome back. Hi. Um, this is a slightly different video because we aren't necessarily on tour but what we want to do is take you through some of our favourite accessories and features that we've added to the van over the years to make our time in the van a little more special. Right, first we're going to address outside living and the essential bits that we have for our outside living. First of all an awning. We think an awning is pretty essential that you should have on your motorhome or your camper van. So we use it all the time. Um, blocking the sun, it's really good for giving you a bit of shade and also giving you some shelter in the rain. But if it's a big awning you want to take it down in the big winds, that's for sure. Job done. Uh, next to hold the awning down we've got our awning straps. I'd have normally gone for black straps, but you need these visible in case you're going to trip over them. So bright yellow works really, really well. Now we use screw pegs and I use my little Bosch gun here to be able to screw these pegs in the ground. It's much, much easier than banging them in with a mallet. And also in some of the hard ground, like in Croatia, these work a treat. Next up, awning carpet. We do carry an awning carpet. We don't use it a great deal. If we're on grass like today, we don't need an awning carpet. However, if we're on a kind of a rough road like this, then we'll always put the awning carpet down because it's easier on your feet. Okay, next chairs. I want to talk to you about our Coleman sling chairs. I'm passionate about these. Before I bought these, I bought these in 2012. So we've had them over 10 years. But I did a lot of research before buying these. And I think there was an article in the MMM magazine that was researching the top 50 chairs. These are a great chair because they pack down so, so small. So we carry six of these for us in the motorhome. But not only that, they just pop up as simple as that and they are very comfortable when you sit them. So what we like about these chairs is how comfortable they actually are. There's no metal that goes across the the front so there's no digging into your thighs and actually the sitting position is quite reclined so it's nice and comfortable we can spend quite a few hours sat in these around a, a fire pit chatting to our mates right next up is our table and benches which is probably my favorite accessory of all what do you think yeah absolutely this we're a family that always eats at a table together every evening meal we do that unless one of us is off about so having the right size table and benches has been perfect this is an updated version. Yeah, it's new for this year because the other one was looking a bit tired. But it's great. We went through the small camping tables and then not even enough room for your plate, let alone having other things. Plus, when you have friends over and come and sit and chat, it's perfect. So it, yeah, It becomes like a little community hub, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. And it falls down and goes in the garage okay. So yeah, this is made by Lifetime, really high quality brand. And if you're a family, definitely get one of these. Next, let's talk tables. We have two sets of Coleman tables here. This one here folds in half and it's where we put the cooker, the outside hob. We put it on here and we plug it into the external gas point. We then have these which hook together, these two do, and they provide either high table that's by putting this on here, or we tend to have them as coffee tables down low when you're sat in there somewhere to put your beer. So these are incredibly comfortable, these inflatable chairs, we got them from Amazon I believe and they are so comfortable, they take two minutes to, to pump up and they're great on the water and also for lounging on in the sun. And they pack down really really small. Next let's talk electrical cables, it may seem obvious but yeah we carry two of these because we've been at some pitches where they've been so far away from the electric we've needed to plug one into the other, also we carry a couple of these as well. Um, these are your Euro adapters because some campsites in Europe have this, still have the two pin. And in fact, I carry a whole host of adapters. Hoses, I carry two hoses with this as well. And of course, the adapters for the different taps. And I carry the European adapters for the gas because we've got our refillable gas bottle in there. And talking about adapters for different countries, you probably know we are planning to go to Morocco this year on holiday. We are. So we'll need the different adapters for that too. But a lot of you have asked about our insurance. What are we doing for our motorhome insurance for Morocco? Um, now we're insured with AIB Insurance. They insured us for the last couple of years. Uh, they do motorhomes, camper vans, self-build, cars, bikes, even home insurance. Phil put them onto us. In fact, he's been insured with AIB for many, many years. Um, so if you guys need insurance um, or you do for a renewal, give AIB Insurance a call or go to their website and fill in the form there. Last time we did to, um, shout them out, we got loads of positive comments and feedback saying that they'd saved other people money as well, right. not just us. So give them a try. Yeah. You know? um, but yes, yeah, so they um, also covered us for extra countries last year um, when we went to Albania, Montenegro and what have you. Um, so yeah, but this time we're going to have to find a third party um, or get insurance at the border. Right, on outside cooking guys, um, and you might have known from our previous videos we've had the Kodak Cook 2, um, two burner external gas hob for many, many years. 
And a few videos ago, we found out the Kodak Cook 3 has come out. Um, so we got one of them, and this is actually the first time we've put it um, to its paces. But uh, what's different about it? You've got these extra little wind bits here. Um, these pans are bigger, and I would say they're made with a better non-stick material as well. And they have detachable handles for the griddle pans. Um, so that's pretty clever. And it comes in a nice little um, bag for everything to fit in. Also on here, we've got our new Alessi kettle. Um, it's a great little kettle and it plays two different notes when it uh, goes off, so that's good. Oh, and one thing to note, they've put an extra little um, placement on here for a coffee pot on there. So yeah, definitely our favorite cooker. Um, if you are buying one of these, don't forget to get a three meter gas hose as well to plug in your external barbecue point if that's what you've got on your van. Also new for this year is the soft soak that they've released. So it's something that you can easily put your pans in in order to soak them and get them clean. Very, very handy. And while we're on the subject of cooking, at home I've recently bought the Camping Gas Antitude 2100 and it's a fabulous barbecue. So that's what we use at home now. Um, it's actually got a separate pizza stone, so the other day we cooked pizzas on there or it's got a lovely big grill you can put on there um, and we grilled up with some friends the other day. So if you're looking for a new um, barbecue for home, a nice big gas barbecue, I'll put a link on that one in the description. But they also do one, a smaller one, that takes the small little gas canisters as well, which is more, much more portable you can take to the beach. But Camping Gas have come out with some crack in new barbecues recently. So when it comes to utensils, you can never have too many sets of tongs. Honestly, you'll leave them everywhere, you'll lend them out, at least three is what you need, and go for the soft endy ones so they do not scratch your pans. We also have these. These are a Joseph and Joseph set. We've had them for many years and they stack and clip together perfectly. When it comes to normal pans, we've got a full set. I'm just gonna show you three of stacking pans. Now these are super clever because they, not only do they nest inside each other, they have handles that you can move around and clip onto the next one. So one handle fits all of them. Next up, I wanna show you the Ridge Monkey Griller. This thing is genius. Okay, what you've got here is, um, it's an all-in-one solution and all you do, is drop it down like that, open the legs up, and there you've got a grilling area. You can put, um, in there you can put charcoal and what have you. You've also got um, an extra leg that clips on it here. So you can put that in there, and you've got another area for cooking. Um, also, you can slide this gas in it too. So this will slide inside and you can be cooking on gas, charcoal, or you can even take this off and have it as a fire pit. Or you can drop this on and you've got a griddle. So there's a fantastic little thing there. I love this, it's like the Swiss army knife of it. You know, if you want to take a fire pit, you want to take a gas barbecue, you want to take a charcoal barbecue, you want to take a griddle, it's all in one. While we're on the subject of Ridge Monkey, this is what they became famous for. Um, most of you will probably know what this is. Um, if you don't, it is an ingenious pan for cooking. <clears throat> In there are two handles. You simply clip the handles on, one on there, one on there, and you've got basically a double-sided frying pan, which you can use to cook so much in. I see many people coming up with ingenious ideas how you can cook all sorts in these, and you can literally just then flip them over. Well, it's, it's, they're quite cost-effective and they're handy for doing lots of things. In fact, during lockdown, George and Lindsay did a video about uh, cooking cheese toasties in one of these. So yeah, I'll put a link in the description on that, but definitely you need a Ridge Monkey in your van. Right, I've got two little hacks for you now. I used to carry around bottles of oil and quite often they get knocked over or they just end up sticky or whatever. Um, this spray bottle has been a godsend. I just fill it up whenever it needs doing and it can spray a fine mist or a good squirt. Now, at the opposite end of the oil spectrum are these wipes. They are fantastic. One side of them is ridged, the other side is smooth. Really good for cleaning off your barbecues. Another piece in the Radford jigsaw is Surfshark VPN. We've been using it for a couple of years now and we think it's absolutely essential. Surfshark is a VPN, which is a virtual private network. And without going into too much technical detail because I don't really understand it all, what it does is encrypts my data and creates a safe tunnel between my device and the internet. It keeps all my information and my data safe from big corporations and also from cyber criminals too. Now we pick Surfshark purely for the numbers. It's one of the only VPN providers that will allow unlimited devices under one account. 
Another cool feature of Surfshark is it can mask your IP address. You have to think of your IP address as your device's current location. So by masking your IP address, you can access international content when you're here in the UK or access UK content when you're abroad. Harry loves the fact that he can keep watching Man United win or lose wherever he is in the world. If you're looking for something that can protect your data and identity online or access international content for you, you might want to give Surfshark a go. Scan this code here or use the link in the description, add the code Radford and you'll get an extra three months completely free. Most of the things we've shown you in this video so far, we've put a link in the description, but now we're coming to our IKEA haul. Um, we have these ceramic plates and bowls. They don't break or they're very hard to break. Dead cheap as well. We also have a knife rack and it's a magnetic knife rack and knives that we got there as well. This meter, isn't from ikea this is a meat probe put it in your meat in the thickest part and there's an app and it will tell you when it's done very clever love it back into the rest of our kitchen essentials is a collapsible washing up bowl this is fantastic the kids can use it to transport washing up to the main washing up facilities when you're on site or we can use it in the in the sink here and one of my cheapest ever bargains is this drying mat it is super absorbent you can whack it in the washing machine and it will absorb all the washing up bubbles and drips we've got a sharp 24 inch 12 volt slash 230 volt tv got it mounted on a swivel bracket so it comes out like that but it's got built-in netflix and a youtube button next up is our amazon echo show 15. it's fantastic it's got built-in alexa um, we use it for the radio we use it for to do's and we use it to show photos of our boys when they were growing up you may have seen some of our youtube friends have recently been sent a rather large fridge by a certain manufacturer it's not going to fit in this space it's not ideal for us so we've opted for this one here we've got the cfx 3 55 im im meaning ice maker these fridges are fantastic um, they're compressor fridges so they'll go down to i believe minus 22 on temperature you can have them as a fridge or a freezer you just set the temperature um, they've got bluetooth um, and their wi-fi built in and they've got an app and in the app you can set um, warnings if the temperature deviates so you know if your electric's gone off or anything like that uh, you can also just look at add a setting and see your temperature in the fridge lots of room for plenty of wine we've got water we've got pepsi max we've got beers it's a lovely lovely big fridge and it is fantastic for us best thing is it's made by dometic and they're a very trusted dometic are in most caravans and camper vans um, right nowadays so dometic is probably the best brand in the uk um, we highly recommend the cfx3 fridges they're fantastic next up i want to talk to you about the projector we've got in the back for the boys it's a bank gs50 and i've put a pvc banner um, screen on there which i velcroed over the window um, and that's perfect it's daylight right now and you can still kind of see it but at night time it is perfect but best of all um, sometimes in the evenings they'll take it outside and project it onto the side of the motorhome and even play the nintendo switch on it it's fantastic a lot of you ask about our ring doorbell here i originally put one on our old motorhome because i had a spare one lying around after upgrading the one at home however it was such a good security deterrent that i bought a new one for this motorhome and it's really really handy to keep an eye on things when we're not at the motorhome and we've also installed an indoor ring cam right here so we can keep an eye on the inside of the motorhome too right internet we have got a starlink um, satellite internet system bought this last year when it came out and we took it away on our summer trip last year and it worked perfectly um, unfortunately we can't use it on the move at the moment and it is quite expensive so when we got back from our europe trip last year um, we paused the service which is one thing you can do with this what we do have is a huawei 5g router up there and that works perfect for us with a sim card in unlimited data okay it's capped when you're around europe um, but we have got a thing with smart Party where you pay seven pounds every three days and you can still have unlimited internet there when we're abroad so that's it we may still turn our Starlink on for this year's trip to Morocco though with all the power we've got in our van we do get asked why do we still carry these power banks and I'll tell you what especially this little river too it's perfect um, it's still very very portable um, ideal for me for plugging my MacBook in to get a hundred watt PD to charge it but the boys also use it around the van to charge their iPads and their iPhones and they take it outside to power the projector or maybe the pump to pump the inflatables up so we'd always carry one of these with us up front in the cab now we've got a few things this MagSafe charger up here is ideal just to drop my phone on 
on and it charges it on the go it's handy to have it here um also for security actually i've got this disc lock that i've had for many many years and that gives me peace of mind to lock the motorhome up when we leave it whilst we're up front let's take a look at our tom tom go camper max it has been fantastic um we used to use google maps primarily all the time now we mainly use this for our main routes because we find the routing is much much clearer when you come into a junction it shows you which lane you need to be in and what have you so this is our go-to for our main navigation we also use google maps sometimes to find park ups and campsites because there's a six-year age gap between eddie our eldest and george our youngest they all have their own ipads to keep them entertained because we can never guarantee that one thing is going to be watched by all of them and enjoyed so while we're traveling instead of having to look out the window the whole time or breathing each other's air or looking at each other they've got their own ipads I, on the other hand, have got a Kindle. This one's the Oasis. I've had the Paperwhite before. What I love about both those models is that they're backlit, so I don't need a lamp on to read them. So if I wake up in the middle of the night, which is something I seem to be doing at the moment, I can just read and not wake Steve up. Right, we're nearly there, guys. But before we go into the last part of this, I want to give a shout out to our company, Yowza Signs and Graphics. They help support our travels and help make these videos possible. So if you guys need any designing doing, if you need stickers, you need any printing, they also do workwear and embroidery and vehicle graphics. The number one thing we do are vehicle graphics. So if you need anything like that, give the guys in the office a shout, 01908 37882, or email them sales at yowza.co.uk, or take a look at the website, www.yowza.co.uk. Right, the last part of this video is all about the other kind of gadgets we put in there. So, first off, the Karcher Window Vac. If you guys haven't got one of these, I suggest you go and get them. They're not that expensive. And when you get condensation build up in the morning, this takes it off in seconds. It really does. So, definitely check out the Karcher Vacs. Next up, the bathroom. We had a charcoal filter, like a SOG system fitted to ours um, by Phil a few months ago. And that's been perfect. It's really eliminated all the smells in the toilet. So, definitely recommend one of those. Um, I also fitted um, some hooks from my here around in the shower area and they hanging up all of our bathrobes and our coats in the winter and stuff like that that's perfect for that but more recently we had a ceramic insert sent to us and we fitted it in the toilet it's uh, tush or something i'll put the details in the description but now it's a lot easier to clean the toilet so it's not plastic we've got a, a ceramic insert in there and it makes it a lot easier to keep the toilet clean and fire extinguisher wise we use one of these it's a fire mill um, and what you do is you put a soda stream canister in it and you literally just give it a quick and there you go and put out the fire but hopefully we won't need to use this we have several of these muggies and they're cup holders and we've got one on the table while we're traveling and we've got a couple in the cupboard in there also insulated wine glasses can i tell you how amazing these are when you're in the warm um a glass of cold wine will stay cold for hours so these ones, which are a particularly beautiful design, are available on our website. This slide-on shelf has been a fantastic addition because it gives us extra storage shelves, really useful. And this from IKEA is suction hooks, dead easy. And I keep our washing up liquid and our washing up things in there. This is a really new, and I think it's quite exciting addition to the van. It's just a pop-out bin. I've got storage for my little bin bags at the bottom and you can just pop it in and pop it out when you're traveling. If you've been watching the channel for any length of time, you'll know what these are. We've featured them in several videos and every time we do, I get lots of questions. There is a link in the description, okay? This is a cushion. You just unzip it, it's so good, and you get a wonderful lightweight blanket, perfect for one person. And finally, we have got several fans that we have throughout the van. Some plug into the 12 volt and some are rechargeable and on clips so we can put them wherever we want. As Lindsay said, there will be a link in the description for everything that we've got here, except the IKEA bits. But I want to say um, a big thank you to Ocean Trail, where we got some of the cooking bits from, the barbecue and the Ridge Monkey bits and stuff like that. And of course, our cadet cooker. Um, disclaimer, we did get a bit of a discount from them. However, I've got you guys a discount too. So if you use the link in the description, I and use our code you'll also get 10% off at Ocean Trail. Thank you.